I know on the Apollo 17 mission, the commander wrote his daughter's initials on the moon, and I'm sure maybe you guys were allowed to bring some mementos to leave on the surface of the moon. What did you leave on the moon? Okay, let's back up now. I'm going to tell you a nice part of that story. He didn't leave his daughter's uh, uh, initials on the moon. Really? Really? There was a photo of the place that he scraped uh, some dirt off this big rock. It, and uh, called Split Rock. He scraped it off. So when I was painting, I talked, showed him this painting that I, where he had scraped the, the dust off the big rock. He said, I wish I'd written my daughter's name in, the, in that dust. Wow. I so- said, well, write it on this sheet of paper like you would have written it. And so I then, after he left, I got out my... Uh, brushes and paint, and I painted his daughter's name in that rock, and I changed the title. His daughter's name was Tracy, and a good friend of my daughter's name was Amy. I named the thing Tracy's Boulder, and what I've noticed is people now in science call that Tracy's Boulder, and like you said, you thought he'd done that. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't, but he did uh, scratch his daughter's initials in the dirt over near the rover that he left on the moon uh, right at the very end of the mission. So you see, history kind of changes a little bit as you go along. The only thing that I brought up there is I, was, uh, the, I wasn't on this Apollo 12, 12 crew initially. A fellow by the name, a Marine named by the name of C.C. C. Williams, who was a good friend of mine, and he got killed in an airplane accident. And then I was taken on the crew to replace C.C. So when we went to the moon, we took C.C. C. Williams' wings, and we left those in the dust there where we had landed. So that's what I took.